Hi, this is Eric at FlexPVC.com and I need to do a little video. Uh, this is for a customer as well as everybody else. Um, on our website, on our specifications page for PVC pipe, we list ID, OD, wall thickness, etc. And what some people miss is that under uh, wall thickness, it says minimum wall thickness. Now, these are standards set by engineers. So if you buy a piece of inch and a half pipe, the OD is exactly uh, 1.90 inches OD, the outside diameter. The inside diameter is not the standard. And the inside diameter is based on the wall thickness. But the wall thickness is set to a minimum. So in other words, it can be a minimum of let's say 0.18 or whatever it is, and then, or more. So if the wall thickness is thicker than uh, the minimum, then your ID is gonna be less than what is listed. And on the website, we say that wall thickness can vary up to 5%. Well, here's a piece of pipe that is about five and a half inches long. And this is an inside couple, or excuse me, inside extender, not a couple, inside extender. And anytime you glue anything inside a pipe, that is non-standard, that is not certified, it's outside of the normal plumbing practices. So, here's what happened. We sold some of these to a customer, they went to install them and they said they don't fit. So we said, oh, okay, so we sent them another batch, same problem. But I'm gonna show you why they won't fit. You can see this goes in here. Now it's tapered, it's supposed to be tapered so that it fits a, a range of ID. And what normally happens, you put your primer and glue, your primer and your glue, and it softens up the plastic so that when you go and you shove this in, it'll go almost all the way in and then it'll be a, a, good, a good joint. Okay, now watch, same piece of pipe, other end. Won't go in. <laughs> Absolutely will not go in. I have fought with this for probably 40 minutes, various different things. Now, I can make it go in, okay? But I wanna just show you that <clears throat> five inches of pipe, it's different. This end, the wall thickness is smaller, so the ID is bigger. On this end, the wall thickness changes. I wish I could see where it does, but it looks identical to the naked eye. I can see a slight ovaling, but not enough, I would think, that would cause a problem. And besides, this side has got a little oval to it as well. Anyways, we'll not go in the side. Now, to solve this problem, what you want to do is you want to take a knife and you want to chamfer, take this edge off right here. Now, sometimes it's enough and sometimes it's not. Unfortunately, the wall thickness, there's no set standard. It's just a minimum standard. Okay, so if you're using inside uh, fittings and it won't fit, that's why, it's your pipe. <laughs> These fittings haven't changed, molds don't change, and uh, we did try a different manufacturer, we had the same problem. This manufacturer, these are a little bit longer and it tapers a little bit more, so it does start a little bit easier than the other ones, but still the end result is neither will go into this end of this pipe. This one goes in, this one does not. Like I said, if I sat here with a knife, I could get this edge off. And if I had to, I could probably sand it a little bit. But if you get in this situation, unfortunately, that is the only solution. Or get different pipe. Uh, just to show you that it wasn't a fluke, here's a one inch and a one inch pipe. Watch this. It goes in here all the way very easily. Same piece of pipe, six inches long, this end. It will start. It is a little difficult. You have to have it lined up perfectly. But that's as far as it will go in. I mean, I could cram it in there, probably. Now, once I put the glue and primer on it, it'll act as a lubricant, soften the material, and it'll go right in. But I'm just showing you, same piece of pipe, one inch. This end goes all the way in very easily. This end does not, that's it, using the same amount of force, okay? So this is one inch pipe. Again, you look at it, I guarantee you, you cannot tell <laughs> the thickness has changed, but it has, okay? Anyways, I hope that you found this useful. And then you understand when we say minimum wall thickness, that means that much or greater, which means the ID can be what's shown in the chart or less. Okay, thank you for watching. This was Eric at flexpvc.com.